Okay, so the first meal I'm going to be cooking is ramen. So I've got all the ingredients here. I've got some of these vegetable gyozas from Tesco. Don't need to add these, but I've just got them. Some eggs. I'm going to be adding some broccoli, some spinach, mushrooms, a pepper because I've got it in the freezer. And then I've just got some lazy garlic, salt, pepper, and I'm using sesame oil, but you could just use normal oil. I haven't got any. And then I've got this broth what I made up a couple of days ago. I batch cook this and put it in the freezer so it's really easy to make when we want it. I usually get about six portions. I'll leave the recipe in the comments for the broth itself and then once that's done it's really easy. Okay so I've got some broccoli on a baking tray. I've added some oil, salt, pepper and garlic to that and give it a little mix about. And then I've also got the gyoza on here. Um, that's going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes while I get the rest of the stuff ready. And I forgot to say, I've got udon noodles too. I've just remembered they were in the cupboard. I've just got the peppers and mushroom frying up in the pan. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to them in a minute. And I've got a handful of chopped spinach there ready to go in when this is finished cooking. The udon noodles in the pan just cooking. They only take a few minutes. Um, I've got the eggs just frying up in the same pan. I'm just going to add a little splash of water to that. Cover it with a lid. And... Uh, let them cook while the noodles finish off and the broth is warming in the microwave. So that's it, just put everything in the bowl, all the vegetables, the egg, the gyoza, poured the broth over and it's done. So today's dinner is going to be the viral Big Mac Taco burger things. I don't know what, what it is. I think it's Big Mac Taco. Um, I've seen it all over TikTok and I've been dying to try it. It looks so nice, but um, I don't eat meat, so I'm going to try it with these. I don't know what it's going to be like, but we'll give it a go. I also haven't got, it was supposed to be with the mini wraps and I've only got the big wraps, but they'll just have to do. I think it'll, I think it'll work. I hope it'll work. We'll see. So I've chopped up some red onion and pickles, gherkins, whatever you want to call them, put it in a bowl. It does say white onion on what I've seen on TikTok, but I've only got red, so we're just working with what we've got. I'm just adding a little half a teaspoon of the pickle juice, and then I'm going to add ketchup, mayonnaise and mustard, and give it a little mix, and that'll be the sauce ready. There's the sauce already. This tastes amazing. Um, I can see why you're supposed to use the mini wraps because it's not going to cover. So we'll just have to have half filled ones. I'm just going to put oh sorry, I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on, and then I'll uh, put them in the pan. So I'm just going to put the first one in. I, I cut the tortilla down because it was really big. I hope this is nice. I've just added some butter to the top because I've seen other people doing that so it goes nice and crispy. Um, I'll show you it when it's flipped over. Flipped it over, it looks quite nice. I'm just waiting for the other side. I'm going to put the cheese on. It's really loud because I've got the other one in the pan. Oh my god, how nice does it look? I'm just going to put some of the sauce on. And some lettuce. I can't wait to eat this. I hope it tastes as nice as I think it's going to. Oh my god, look at it. It looks so nice. I can't wait to eat it. It tastes so nice. You've got to try it. If you don't mind eating like meat alternative things, definitely try it because it is so nice. Okay, so tonight we're going to be having like a vegetable sub. I've got some of these rolls from Madison's. Um, I've got some soy sauce, vinegar, oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some crushed garlic and I've got some of this which is basically like Liam Perrins but it's a vegan version. I think it, yeah it is vegan. And then I've got some large flat mushrooms, a red pepper, some onion and I have got some beef to put on my son's one because he does eat meat and also some cheese slices to go with it um, and I'll probably do this with chips. So in this Pyrex dish, I've got um, a quarter cup of oil, three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of the relish, a tablespoon of vinegar, a tablespoon of garlic puree stuff, 
half a teaspoon of cayenne and some salt and pepper. I'm just going to chop all my vegetables up and put them in this. So I've added the vegetables to the bowl, mixed it all in to make sure they're all covered and now I'm just going to let it sit for about an hour I think I've got but usually I'd leave it longer. So I left the vegetables marinating for about two hours. Um, like I said before I do usually leave them all day but I didn't have time to do this this morning. So I've put it on a baking tray, I've got the oven warming up to 200, I've got some chips ready on there and I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. So this is it all ready to go, I've added some cheese and pickled onion, I've got the beef on my son's one um, with the vegetables and he's got cheese and pickled onion too, I've got some chips and ketchup and it's ready to go. So today we're having eggplant palm or like an aubergine pasta, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So I've got an aubergine, a jar of our favourite bolognese sauce, some grace of mozzarella, some spaghetti, salt and pepper, some, sorry my dress is getting in the way there, um, some golden breadcrumbs, an egg and I've just got two sandwich bags, that's just so I can bread the aubergine without making mess, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so I've washed and sliced the aubergine and then I've got a bag of egg, just like a scrambled up egg, and a bag of breadcrumbs with some salt and pepper added. I'm just going to put the aubergine in this bag first, give it a mix, make sure it's all coated, and then I'm going to take it out, put it in there, give it a mix, make sure it's all coated, and then I'm going to put it on the baking tray ready to go in the oven. So there they are all covered in egg. I'm just going to take them out and put them in there, give them a shake about and now they're all covered in breadcrumbs too. And there they are on the baking tray, all nicely covered and there was just no mess. It's so much easier than doing it in a bowl. So I gave them about 20 minutes in the oven, turned them halfway through. I've just put the pasta on to boil. So I'm going to add some sauce. I'll just put a blob of sauce on each one. Once they're all covered in sauce, I just stack them on top of each other like that. And then I cover them in cheese. And then I'm going to put them back in the oven until the pasta's finished cooking or until the cheese is melty and brown, whatever comes first. So we just poured the rest of the sauce onto the spaghetti, heated that through, and now I'm going to plate it up. And this is dinner all ready to go. This is one of our favourite meals. We really love it. I just can't wait to eat it. I'm also going to save this with a side of roasted broccoli because we just love broccoli with everything. 